Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have something fun but different for you guys. A company through Amazon reached out to me um, and asked if I would review uh, one of their products. I'm very excited about this. Um, it is very different from what I normally post on this channel. Um, so this is a hair tool and they did send it to me. Um, just in return for an honest review so this is gonna be all of my like first of all like first thoughts um, my first impression of this because I haven't actually even taken out of the box yet so this will be my first impression um, and we'll do like a little review because I'm gonna do my hair for you guys so um, this is my natural hair I let it air dry today um, the only thing I have in it is a little bit of it's a 10 the miracle leave-in product stuff um, so <clears throat> I just sprayed this on my hair while it was wet uh, and then brushed it out and voila, this is what we have. Um, I have been leaving my hair natural for uh, several weeks now. I very rarely put um, a lot of heat on it anymore. <clears throat> so I am going to use this product here. So this is what I was sent. It is a hair <clears throat> waver is what it says. Um, so kind of like a crimper is what I'm assuming. Uh, but like I said, I haven't even taken it out of the box. Yeah, so it is kind of like a crimper. You can kind of see on the back here um, what it looks like. So this is by, I think it's Elise. And it says new generation hair waver, easy styling, anti-scalding design, 14 level temperature control. This is interesting to me because um, both the hair tools that I have, I have a straightener. Oh. Yeah, I have a straightener and a wand. Both of them, I just turn it on. Um, I guess my Chi straightener does have like an adjustment, but I always keep it on the hottest setting. <laughs> um, so I'm interested to like play with the temperature. Uh, so like I said, I haven't opened it yet. I have some scissors here so that I can slice this open and we'll see what is inside. I do like the box. I think it's very pretty and honestly, it seems small for a crimper. So I've actually been looking for a crimper um, and a lot of them seem like really like, humongous. So I really like the smaller design of this one. So I'm just gonna pull everything out of the box here. There are quite a few things in here. Okay, so you have several things in this box. Um, you have the user manual. So it tells you how to use the hair crimper. Comes with two hair clips. Good ASMR here. I'm not claiming to do ASMR. This would be a good ASMR sound. So you have two little hair clips. I've never had any of these before. I feel so fancy. Um, so we have two of these to separate your hair into sections. Um, it also comes with, I'm going to assume like a heat um, protector heat gloves, heat protectant glove. I don't know. <laughs> Probably won't use this um, because I just feel like it's easier to grab hair tools without a glove on. My wand also has a glove that I don't use. And then the crimper itself is wrapped in bubble wrap and I love the color of this. It's so pretty. It's like a pearly pink is what it reminds me of. I really, really like this. Um, so on the box, it looked like this would be a screen. I don't really see a screen, so maybe something will like light up when we plug it in. But it's got your power button, and looks like a lower setting and a higher setting. And it's really, really pretty. So it's got two like crimp parts. Let me see, there we go. So you can kind of see that there's only two. Um, and then there's also these little like rubber pieces on both sides. So you can like clamp it closed and not burn yourself. So I really like that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and we'll see how long it takes to heat up. All right, friends, so I did plug it in. Sorry, I called you friends. That's what I do when I'm teaching. <laughs> um, so I plugged it in, the screen did come on. So you can kind of see it says off right now. So I'm just going to, let me see if I can see it. Here we go. Okay, so I turn it on and we're at, oh, I guess I shouldn't look this way. So it's heating up and it tells you um, the degrees as it's going up, I guess. 
So you can set it to what you want it to be on. Starts at 2.30 and goes up to 4.50. So I'm actually gonna start, I'm gonna start at, um, oh, you can go down to 2.10. So it comes on at 2.30, but you can go down to 2.10. So I'm gonna start it at 2.10 and just see um, what it's going to do. Like if it's going, to, if I need it to be hotter. Um, and it's heating up really quick, like super quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and rush through my hair here. Um, I just use a flat brush. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not normally like a hair and makeup tutorial person. Um, so forgive me. But I'm just gonna run my brush through here. And I'm also going to take a little of um, heat protectant spray. This is Tresemme uh, heat protection up to 450 degrees. So I'm just going to take this and I spray a little bit on the inside, on the outsides, on both sides. Also, so sorry that you can see my messy area. That's normally where I sit to do videos. Um, and you don't see like the messy parts, so do forgive me. And this, my friends, is ready. This heats up very, very fast. Um, so we'll see um, how that 210 does. So I'm actually going to split my hair and I'm not gonna use those little clips that I got um, just because I'm not used to those. I'm gonna use just my regular hair clip. So how I normally do my hair when I am curling it is I split it into two sections. My hair, by the way, is um, fairly thin. Uh, I don't have a lot of hair. So normally when I'm curling, I split it in two sections and I do bottom and top. But when I am straightening it, I do it in three sections. Um, <clears throat> but since we're crimping, we're gonna go with the two sections. So I do it like this and then I will just go in the back flip my hair down the middle and pull it apart that way and then that way I have one section of hair here one section of hair here and I'm not trying to go behind my head um, with a styling tool so I'm going to adjust this camera a little okay so I don't know if that helped or not I was trying to make it to where you can see all of my hair um, so anyway I'm going to actually let's look at what it says to do in the instruction manual so Clamp a wisp of hair in the middle and upper part and save for four to eight seconds and then release. Move down the product and repeat this step. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to split this on this side into two pieces. This is how I curl. So I'm just doing everything that I do to curl my hair. So I'm gonna take the crimper here. It says hold it for one, two, three, four, five. And move down one, two, three, four, five, and move down one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it looks like maybe that was oh, I can't okay, okay. We have a little like beachy, crimpy wave. I'm very excited, I'm digging it. Okay, so my hair is pretty naturally wavy as you can see. This is my natural hair um, and then <clears throat> this is the one that I just crimped. So you can kind of see that it gives it a little more <clears throat> just like definition. Um, and this, like I said, is on the lowest heat setting. So I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. And I think what I'm going to do is turn the heat up a little bit um, for this side and we'll see if that makes a difference. I love that you don't have to hold this on very long. Just a few seconds really gets it um, covered. So it looks a little like you can kind of see the marks in your hair where the tool was, but I feel like maybe once you brush that out and maybe once it's all done, it won't look quite as obvious. Um, so, okay, I'm liking this. I am gonna turn the heat up I'm gonna put it on 300. So now it's gonna heat up and it's telling me. So that's really cool that it like counts up for you. So it 
heats up really fast, you guys. I am impressed with that. Okay, I'm gonna let that finish heating. Okay, so we're heated to 300, it only took a few seconds. Um, I had to go get my dog, so he's in the bed now. <laughs> um, I really like the way that this looks. So anyway, I turn the heat up, and so now let's do this section of hair. Um, I will say my hair is very, very difficult to get to hold a style, especially like a curl. Um, so I would probably put, I don't know. I mean, you want beachy waves to be like loose and flowy. You don't want them like super firm. So I don't know. I'm going to see what I'll do at the end, but so you can definitely tell a difference. This is the styled side. This is the unstyled side. So there's definitely more like uniform than just this like messy side. So let's go ahead and do this side with the heat turned up just a little bit. I put it on 300. Um, I am very impressed with how quickly this heats up. I think I just hit a button, so I'll have to check that in a second. Um, I also love that you don't have to, um, sorry, I'm gonna try to grab it. Ooh, I love that, okay. Um, you really don't have to keep it on very long. Sorry, it's like awkward for me to do this side of my hair. <laughs> So just a few seconds gets you done. And I am leaving the ends out. Um, I don't ever like curl the ends of my hair just because I feel like it just adds a little extra oomph when you leave them out. Okay, oh yes. Oh wow, you guys, I am digging this. All right, let's go ahead and do this last little part and then we can kind of tell a difference between the two sides. Did hit a button it is a little awkward where the buttons are because you might end up grabbing them i did hit a button that turned it down okay so this was at 210 this was at 300 so i really like the way that it looks with the heat um a little higher so i'm going to stick with the 300 um and so i'm going to go ahead run my fingers through it just a little bit i really like the way this looks wow Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take this part of my hair down. And then what I do, I don't ever let it drop because then I feel like it mixes and it's hard to like get my hair. So I just take my thumb uh, like this and kind of pull it separate where my part is. Um, and I always make sure the curled part is behind my shoulders and I bring forward um, this like new hair that I'm about to curl. So it's just an easy way for me to keep those um, like hair sections separate. Uh, that way I'm not like double curling or anything like that. So I'm just going to take this section and brush it out a little bit. And I did already put that heat protector on um, earlier, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm gonna split this side into three sections. So I'm gonna do this section first. And again, this is on 300. I'm gonna come down a little bit. I like the top of my hair. Well, actually, I might go as close as I can here. And I am pretty much touching my head with this and it's not burning. Um, so that is nice <clears throat> that you can get it really close um, to your head and it doesn't burn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing all the way on this side of my head. one side done. Wowzers, I'm obsessed. It does your hair so quickly. Now, I will say it did kind of leave this like weird line up here, um, but I might go in and try to fix that in just a second. Um, of course, it's probably just me using this tool for the first time, but I also wanted to say I am looking in my mirror over here, by the way. That's why I'm not looking directly at the camera. Um, this is a pretty big barrel, so just for fun, I am going to see if I can fit this entire section. Typically, I would split this into two sections, um, but I'm going to see if I can just do this one section um, and get, yep. Oh, no, I think I might have a little extra that balled out, yep. 
So for the most part, this is like a really big barrel. You can fit a big chunk of hair in here. Um, I did have a little that fell out, so I'm gonna have to go back and fix that. But <clears throat> you can fit a lot of hair. I don't know, what is that? Maybe like three inches, maybe four. It's a pretty big barrel. So you can fit a big old chunk of hair in there. All right, I'm just gonna go back in on this little part back here. done you guys well my entire head completely crimped I am obsessed this looks so cute um, I am like I said you have this like odd line at the top and that's probably just user error um, I'm gonna go in and see if I can take like a small section of hair up here and just crimp it like as close as I can that might be where I'm making an error though is trying to get it too close to the top of my head. No, that added a little bit of a curl up there, so it doesn't quite look like a straight, like, line. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Yeah, and then it looks like you're bringing the curl, like, up on your head instead of it having that, like, weird line there. So, for sure, make sure you're getting it, like, as close as you can. That way you don't have that, like, awkward line. Okay, I'm digging this. I'm gonna do the same thing over here so I don't have that weird line. <clears throat> and I love that you hold it on your hair for less than 10 seconds. Okay. And there we go. That is the final product. I really, really like this. Super easy to use. Um, very much like a straightener, uh, except you don't move it. You literally just hold it on your hair um, and you're good to go. So <clears throat> I'm gonna spray a little bit of hairspray in here and I'm just gonna run my fingers through it. I don't ever um, like to brush out my curls uh, just because the way that my hair is, it will fall just a little bit um, because my hair just doesn't like to hold a curl. But there is the finished product. I really, really liked this. Um, so I would definitely, this is something I would purchase um, for sure. Uh, would make a really good Christmas gift uh, for whoever. If you have a lady in your life um, who enjoys doing her hair, highly recommend. If you have a lady in your life who doesn't like doing her hair, this is super easy and very quick um, to use. So that probably took me 10, 15 minutes tops. So. Now that I know how to use it, I could run that thing through my hair in five minutes and have curled hair. So I really, really like this, highly recommend it. Thank you. Um, I guess it's Elise who sent me this product. I really appreciate it. Um, and all the information for this product will be in the description so you can just click on it. I don't get paid or anything for that. Um, just ease of access for you guys if you are interested. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. I really enjoy doing review videos. I mostly do um, like doggy stuff, dog reviews. Um, I am about to get ready to film a dog advent calendar video, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.